Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, wherever you are. Um, my name is Greg Milner from uh, Worldwide Salon Marketing. Thanks for joining us uh, this morning. Um, today is about social media and the tediousness and tiresomeness of um, having to uh, think about what to post, when to post, how to post, where to post. Um, we know that a lot of business owners find it an incredibly tiresome chore to uh, keep their uh, social media content up and uh, fresh and uh, and uh, loved uh, on a daily or weekly basis. So uh, I'd like to introduce everyone to our social media specialist, uh, Sam Buckley, this morning. Sam has developed uh, a system which allows business owners to almost hands off have their, um, their social media content done for them. Um, so uh, Sam, can you take over and uh, tell us uh, what this is about and why it's important. Absolutely. Thanks, Greg. It's great to be here, guys. I'm looking forward to sharing some stuff with you today. So I'm just going to pop up the slides and share my screen with you and we can get started. All righty. So as Greg said, it is. I know this is social media is the bane of a lot of business owners' existence. Um, it is really hard when you're flat out on the tools, you're busy serving your clients and doing hair and everything all day long and just like when do you get time to get this social stuff done and if you get quiet patches you might pop some up and then it's very sporadic and it, it just never quite gets to where it should be. Um, so what I want to share with you today is a little bit about why it's important and then how we can help you guys to really make this look amazing for your business and be able to tick this off your list and just be confident that it's working for you instead of just sitting there looking like an empty shop. So the things that we'll be covering today are there's four things. So why Facebook pages matter now. So it's not about likes anymore. We call those vanity metrics. Now it's more about search, a bit like on Google. Um, the next thing we're gonna cover is why daily content is so important for getting new customers from your Facebook page. The third thing we're gonna cover is how simple social, social promotions can really change your business. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is how to take all that work off your, off, your, off your plate and get that really working for you. So first I just wanna to touch on what Facebook marketing used to be. So back when Facebook was happy for business to, to be out on people's Facebook feeds as much as they can, it was just about getting as many likes as you can so more people could see your posts in their, in their feeds when they're scrolling through Facebook. Um, Facebook is getting smarter and keeps changing their algorithms, as um, you probably know. They change things all the time. They've changed recently how Facebook looks. If you've got the new Facebook feed yet or not, I'm not sure. Just give me a wave if you've got the new Facebook yet. Have you seen it? Nobody's seen that yet. They always roll these things out slowly to different people. Um, if you do get it, you can at the moment um, jump back to the old one temporarily, but it will become permanent in the near future. So what Facebook has now done is they've decided that people prefer to see things from their friends on their Facebook feeds and things from groups they're in rather than businesses. So they have made it harder for businesses to do what they need to do on Facebook. Um, so with all that in mind, um, the way Facebook works now is that people are using it a lot more like a search engine. So it's still nice for your post to show up in people's news feeds and that does happen, um, but it's more about being a search engine to get lots of new business from new customers. And what do I mean by that? So basically people are using it a lot like a Google search engine. So say someone is looking for a new hairdresser, for example, they don't like their old one anymore. They'll jump in there and type in this in the safe in the search bar and they'll search for hairdresser Warwick for example wherever they live or they might type in hairdresser near me and it will show up with um, a bunch of different hair salons that are in that area so that's the way they're using it as a search engine now and what the perception of people's websites compared to their Facebook pages these days is really that your, your website is where you showcase all of your products and services and your Facebook page is how people get to connect and how they get to know, like, and trust 
a certain business before they want to take any sort of action and do business with them. Um, so that's what's happening now. And that's how they get the latest, like what's, what's the news about this particular business? What's the latest thing they've got going? That kind of thing. So that it's almost like a, a, a living, breathing business card for your business that's interactive. Does that make sense to people? Just pop a, yep, everyone's nodding, that's great. The second thing I want to talk about is why daily content is really important. So that is one of the keys to getting new customers from Facebook. And the reason for that is that number one, when you're posting every day on your Facebook page in that search area that I just mentioned to you before, um, people, uh, your business page will show up higher in those search engines if you're posting regularly and you're really active on your Facebook page. So that's kind of how Facebook helps you in that department. I'll show you this in a, in a minute. Um, and then once again, like I mentioned before, um, when you have posts every day on your page, it looks really active and people think that your business is, pays attention to detail and they care about, care about their business. So next, I just wanna jump on live onto Facebook and share with you guys some examples of what happens on Facebook, like a, that process that I just mentioned before. And I'll walk you through how they do that and show you a couple of examples of what's good and what's not. And so you can see the different, how that makes you feel looking at their pages. Okay, so what I've done here is in the search bar. So if you've jumped on to Facebook, it opens up on your homepage. And then I'm just going hairdresser Warwick as an example. And you can jump over straight to pages and it shows you the different hairdressers that are in that area. Now I've opened a couple of these up to show you some examples. So this first one, Hair Creations, I've jumped onto this one and gone to their posts. And as you can see here, the very first one, the most recent one they've got is from the 29th of August. So when you see that, it's kind of like, oh, what have they been doing for the last couple of months? You know, if you're, you imagine if you're someone looking for their service and you see that, it sort of doesn't give you a good feeling, does it? No, it's not very loved, is it? No. So, and then after that, you'll see the last one after that was the 11th of May, the 8th of May. So it's like, okay, they don't do a lot. So maybe they're not a very big business. They're not very active. They don't really care about this stuff. That's sort of what comes across from looking at that. Okay, in comparison to one of the other ones on there, which is Warwick Hair Bar. Now these guys have posted just a day ago that they're shut today. And then four days ago, and then the 12th of October and the 10th of October. So you no, know, they're not, these guys aren't posting every day, but a lot more regularly than the previous page. So it really gives you, um, it looks really active and current. Can you guys see the difference between the two? That's great. And so which one would you guys, can you guys type in the chat which one you'd prefer to think you would prefer to do business with, either hair creations or the hair bar? So as you can see, it does make, definitely makes it more appealing to a potential customer if you're looking at thinking about your business and wanting to attract more clients into your business. It's almost like, um, like it's just as important as having your, your open sign on your front door. Um, and it's and the empty page is almost like someone walking past your salon and seeing nothing but empty chairs. I think, well, not much is going on there, hey? So it really wants to be almost like a hive of activity, like you want your salon to be. So to add another layer to that, um, another part of what I wanted to talk about today was how social promotions can really change your business. So I don't know if any of you guys are in our... Um, client attraction system, where you can see lots of different promotions that you can use in your business. Um, popping these things onto your Facebook page is another way or an added layer of enticement for potential new clients to come in, see the page that when they found it in Facebook search and go, yeah, I want to take action with that. So that 
is another layer that we add to the whole process. So not only do they see everything active, they see lots of activity, they see promotions as well, which means they're more likely to click on that and, and decide that you guys are the ones they want to choose. So we want to be able to take this off your to-do list because I know that you guys have very long to-do lists and um, some of these nagging things stay at the bottom of them and they never quite get, get to the top. So we'd like to be able to show you, allow you guys to have a really active page and get all the benefits of that. Now, just as I mentioned, what we're talking about today, as you guys know, and Greg mentioned earlier, it is a lot of work to get all of this done and set up. And that's why it's sort of left a lot because you guys are too busy. Um, and you guys would much rather be serving the existing clients and having them come back because you've wowed them with the service than dealing with annoying social media posts, I'm sure. So this is what we do. The first thing we do is we create a high quality relevant content for your business. So it's customized to your business and we brand that with your website URL. So nobody can decide they'd like to steal that and use it for their business. And that involves, that will involve a, a session with you guys, with the business owner. And we'd have a chat about, about that, what your goals are and come up with a set of categories that work for your business. So depending on what services you offer, um, depending on what is your standout part of your business. So some salons, for example, are, are very natural. So that could be part of the categories because they're that way. Um, we, we use that to gather all the information we need to create those posts. And then once they're created, we get those approved by the business owner. So you guys get to have a look at them and say, oh yeah, I like this one. I don't want that one. Can we add this in, that kind of thing? So you get you do have full control over that and get full approval. So you know exactly what's going to be posting onto your page. And then we schedule two posts per day for your business. So just as I was mentioning earlier today about why daily posting is important. So two a day is the sweet spot. And that gets posted to your page. And then that looks just as active and alive as your business does. And the other thing we do is we'll sit down and take advantage of some of those fabulous promotions that you can get from the client attraction system. And then we can put those into your like plan out 12 months. So say you do a different promotion every month, then we, would, we can schedule posts based on the dates of those and get those into content regularly as well. So that way your promotions are more organized and so is your social content. And that will help get you lots more people into your business. So this is this is scheduled out for a full 12 months, is it, Sam? So the, the posts, if you take out the, if you don't think about the promotions, the rest will just continues to be posted out for as long as you want to continue with the service. Um, with the promotions, once a year, we'd sit down and do the 12 months of promotions. And then at the end of that time, or getting close to that time, we'd work out the next 12 months and set those up as well. So that will then just continue on for you guys for as long as you're happy with what's happening. So here's a salon that we've done this for. So this is a night spa over in New Zealand. So these guys have been running for a little while now. And... Um, what they have, what we've done for those has we've included a bunch of educational type posts, very important as well. So um, one thing I forgot to mention before is the educational content on these posts is where you guys add value to your potential clients and your existing customers too. So it's giving them different just hints and tips basically about whether it be an aftercare, about a service that they've got from you guys. So this one, for example, is... Um, tells them not to use baby wipes or makeup wipes to wipe their makeup off when they've had their lashes, had the lash extension done so they don't damage that work. So this is all stuff that helps to really grow trust and really build a strong bond with clients to keep them coming back and to really wow your potential new customers coming to your page. That's, that's sort of one of the categories. So these, these posts were, they're bespoke for that particular salon, is that right? That's right. So as you can see with this one, for example, um, these two colours and the fonts, um, that's all their branding. As, and then they've got 
those are hiding a little bit, but down there you can see the the load there, sorry, the URL. So that's how we brand that. That's how it's all branded to her business. So it can't be stolen by another another salon. That's right. They still they can see that I've got it from Knights Bar. So what was what was the result when this started sort of rolling out automatically, Sam, for, for this salon? Danielle was very excited when these came out. She told me she got a new client from the very first post that went up. Um, and all of her clients, like a lot of the clients coming in and all our staff too, were just wowed with how professional they looked. Um, and they just thought they were amazing. So she's extremely happy with them. And, and these posts go up every day, do they, Sam? Yeah, that's right. So twice a day, one morning, one afternoon, and that's how they go out. And how, so, to set all this up, how long did it take to, to get this organised? The design phase at the beginning is um, quite intense. So with around other work, it takes about four weeks to get it set up. And then once that's done, then it will just start rolling out. But, um, yeah, it's pretty time intensive at the beginning. Um, but definitely worth it. Now, can 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 salon owners, you know, do this themselves? I suppose anyone can do it if you've got the time. That's right. Look, um, if you've got the design skill and have got the time and the research skills to get all the information together to make those, you definitely can. Um, but, yeah, it's very time-consuming and, yeah, you definitely need to have a bit of design flair to get them to look good. How many could you do this for at, at any given time? I probably wouldn't do any more than three at one go. Um, just otherwise they're waiting for a long time. Um, so I probably would do yeah, no more than three at a time and then it would be a bit of a wait list after that and then we could just would do them whoever comes next after that. Does anyone anyone want this does anyone want this done for them? Want this set up? Joan, have you, you can you hear us? I can't we can't hear you, Joan. You Yeah, if anyone wants to speak, just need to unmute. Just well, this unmute. is Dawn. Yep. Um, I just wondered what the sorry. Dawn. You go. I just wondered what the cost would be. Okay, so um, you're in Australia. New Zealand. In New Zealand. Okay, so uh, to to set it up and get it running, it's seventeen hundred dollars because we're not charging you GST, and we do that in two hits. So we 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 do it for um, in two payments over a month, fifty uh, percent and fifty percent. Yeah. Uh, in Australia, we have to add GST to that, but but the same, it's essentially the same price. So that takes about a month for Sam to set it up. And then uh, to get it rolling and manage it and maintain it, I think we uh, you're doing that for what th is it three hundred a, a month, Sam? Uh, three forty nine plus three. Three forty nine. Um, there's no contracts with any of that, um, so you can dive out of that any time you like. Uh, but okay. but essentially, it's yeah, it's it's seventeen hundred dollars, which is what. Um, it took for to get it started for for night spa. Yep. Thank you. Uh, there's actually you can actually order that um, now uh, from Neil. Within the month, how many hours would you say would be the commitment is required from the business owner? Aside from all the automatic posts that are going up, Sam. Do you mean Neil in the? In the design phase, that month of the design phase, or do you? Yep. Okay. Can um, you unmute yourself, um, Neil? Down the bottom left. There you go. Um, yeah. So for the business owner commitment in that time frame, there will be an initial meeting um, that probably be about an hourish, and okay. then um, basically there'll be a little bit of back and forwards with checking checking the images to make sure you guys are happy with them. Um, so it's probably really would be no more than two and a half hours tops. So you so you actually provide pretty much all the creative side of it. So someone who's, that, I think that's the biggest challenge, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I deal with a lot of salon owners in my business and it's that creative ability. Yeah. Like it. 
and uh, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out. I think I fit in the same category as Greg to a degree. There's that, you know, there's the natural, so it comes natural, doesn't it, to the younger age groups than the older age groups. And are you that. saying that I'm old, are you? Uh, you know? uh, well, mate, you know, there's some, there's no thing called look in the mirror. Um, I've banned all. I've banned all the mirrors in our household, Neil. I'll, I'll give you the tip as well. Make sure you don't use a blunt razor when you're trying to do yourself a mirror as well. <laughs> I like doing that. No, it's uh, so you would. Yep. Yeah, so basically, you'd profile the business and you would come up with a strategy and content. To, That's yeah. right. Yeah. Do you know, do you find the how if you've got a lot of salons, I guess in the same, you know, so hairdressers, but beauty, whatever, trying to get a mix of content that's, uh, you know, differentiate itself, itself, or how important, I mean, obviously there's, there comes a point, doesn't it? Sometimes you see different similar posts, but how often do people come across the same posts really? That's is, right. You know, that uniqueness yeah. of funds, how essential yeah. is it really? Yep. So, because the way I design them, they're all they're all designed to match your business, so they will all look different. Um, and when people are searching for a particular salon, it's really a small area that they're searching for. So, if you imagine there's lots of little little mm -hmm. pilot areas all over the place that only people in those areas really are seeing the post of. So, um, and depending on what services the businesses provide, will depend on what kind of posts go up as well. So there will always be that sort of differentiation as well. All right. If anyone would like to take one of the two or three spots um, that Sam has available for this, uh, you can actually go through, and I'll put this link into the chat screen. You can actually go through and uh, reserve uh, your spot, or well, the first two or three can anyway, and then we, we're taking that uh, form down. Um, so you can click on that link and it'll take you through. Um, and then the process is once that form's filled in, um, Sam will be in touch to begin the process, um, the design process and the consultation process. And then in three or four weeks, your uh, Facebook feed will light up with the, uh, with the new posts on a daily basis. Is that essentially how it works, Sam? Yeah, pretty well, that's it. Um, so we have a program that we will... Um, communicate with it's called teamwork um, that's where I'll communicate with you guys through I'll give you guys the images to have a look at for approval and we'll go through that platform so once that up in there it's pretty simple just to create um, your email and a password in there and then you get all your notifications via email through that system through that first month of setup and everything okay Thanks for joining us. Um, if you want to jump onto that form and um, fill that in, um, Sam will be in touch. Uh, thanks for joining us all the way from the UK, D. Uh, D um, oh, thank you, Greg. Thank you, Sam. No worries. <laughs> Love it having you today. And uh, Jocelyn. <laughs> Next time I won't be in the box room. <laughs> okay. And Jocelyn, I hope that you can open shortly. We're open today. Whereabouts in Whereabouts in Victoria are you? Uh, in Berry. Okay, so you're not in Melbourne. No, uh, yeah, so we're Metro Melbourne, technically, okay. but we're allowed to open today. So I'm in the salon at the moment. Excellent, okay. I thought it was Allura. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you all and uh, good luck. And uh, don't forget to, uh, you can email me or... Sam, uh, if, just email me if you like, and I can pass them on to Sam. Uh, I'll put the email address in the chat screen, uh, and it's Greg at WorldwideSalonMarketing.com or, or, or Sam at WorldwideSalonMarketing.com if you have any queries. Okay, thanks very much all, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, Sam, I think you might have a bit of work to do. Yeah. Thanks very much, everyone.